Here's a look at uh, uh, the 70 tag I got to run on my truck. Um, uh, I'm going to try to brighten it up a little bit, clean it. It's kind of dark and I got some dirt and dust around. But uh, it looks pretty good. Yeah, it's not too bad. Got it at an antique store for 10 bucks. Got a little bin there. But uh, in North Carolina, you can. Uh, some kind of, uh, I guess, kind of like the personal tags. I'm not sure. My brother's got, I think he's got a 67 tag on his Camaro. But, uh, what this is on my hood, it's like this. That is all specs. I'm not sure what that yellow and orange stuff is. It is. Mm. But, uh, <laughs> got me distracted. But uh, yeah, I think you maybe it's like a custom tag where you pay like whatever $25 or $30 or whatever it costs to run the antique tag. But I guess if they don't have this number, you can run it and pay pay to have it. But I just picked this one up. Maybe I'll run it. Maybe I won't. So I don't know. But I was gonna try to clean it up. But uh, I don't know. I have to. I could probably Google it. But I didn't know uh, what, what's up with, I've heard people say truck tags is one thing and cars are another as far as the numbers first or the letters first or some something. But uh, I don't know. But I got this 70 tag just for the 70 truck and then I got some 68 tags for the, for the 68. But uh I just thought I'd try like some kind of uh I got that uh but well, this was what I'm gonna try and then I'm gonna maybe put some wax on it. This um wipe and shine detailer and see if uh it'll kinda wash it and clean it and brighten it and then maybe if that don't work. I'm not sure what everybody else uses. If you use something different to restore the color on these tags, put it in the comments or if you heard of what they do or any recommendations of anything to use like, I don't know, OxyClean or I don't know, Dawn Dish Detergent probably. Um, leave it in the comments. But I was just going to try this since I already had it out and I used it the other day. Uh, and then maybe put try a little little place and see what wax does but uh i don't know if i'm gonna add this to the video that i made earlier from my phone or not but uh so it might be two different videos two different days but uh we'll see let's see what happens you know how it is all right i'll check back again when i uh, get it cleaned or run into something interesting or all the paint comes off or something just screw it up you know but all right thanks for watching yeah i wiped half of it i don't know if you could tell the difference on the camera but i mean if it's the cleanest it's kind of it was dirty and dusty i guess but uh yeah, you can see like where I cleaned it I guess. I mean it's brighter. But that's just with that detailing wipe and whatever it's called. But uh yeah. Alright. And then uh maybe go a little bit further and try some wax on uh really sure those little bits right there look like they're like part of the paint actually they're like really small it looks like it's part of the paint I thought I was gonna maybe get it clean but I think that's just where the paint ran and it's it's like thicker and then there's like a paint bubble there uh, I think the yellow is just where uh, the thicker paint is. Like uh, right there. I think 
that's just where thicker paint is. It might, I don't know, this it's like a different color there and there. I don't know if I had to like reflective stuff in that or exactly what, why it's kind of off yellow. The new ones are like white. And I thought maybe this one was completely white, but maybe it's uh, supposed to be that like, I guess maybe eggshell or off-white. So I don't know. But uh, we'll clean it a little bit more and get the dust and dirt off. And then try maybe some wax. Uh, Alright, thanks for watching. Yeah, here's a shot of the tag after. After just using that wipe and shine detailer. Pretty good. I like the back off too, it was just dusty, but it does have these like spots on it. But I'm not sure if they're rust or what they are, and they look really weird. Uh, paint maybe, because that kind of looks like a fingerprint. So maybe it's paint, I don't know. What do y'all think? Is it paint? Or some kind of that's rust there in the very corner. But some of these other things, I'm not sure. But uh, we well, don't know. That's kind of maybe like a rag, or I'm not sure what made that. But uh, that's, that's kind of a before and after. I'm not sure if it was, uh, it was a truck one. I'm sure it would have a trailer hitch imprint if it was a truck one but it has these two uh bumps there i don't know maybe that can tell you it was something about what car it was on or something that's unusual that made that i'm not really sure uh, had these two indentions there's a little dent there's a little dent there um a little crease there I mean, that's not perfect by any means. A lot of paint uh, flaws. So I don't know, but it cleaned up okay. And then uh, I just soak it in that vinegar for, I'm guessing four or five days maybe. But uh, I had this ha half of it in there. But that's what it came out as. I just wiped it off, got the black paint off. They had bubbled up and it came off. But, I don't know, it's got some kind of marking in there. It's like kind of, so I don't really know much about uh, markings on trucks, truck parts. But, uh, you can just see how it comes out. Like, it just came out like black, black paint was peeling off. But I just wiped it off with a rag. Still got some stuff in there I couldn't reach with the rag but uh, that's how it came out just had had it in this jar just had it in this jar right here and you can see uh, it wasn't big enough for it to go all the way down in so it was just sitting sitting that far down in there but uh yeah I'm just called us like called us uh, video before and after but yeah, done that. And then, uh, I've I polished these a little bit, but, uh, they're dusty today, but, um, they have a lot of rust, rust areas, and they were pitted, well, not pitted, but rusted, and, uh, that's kind of the biggest, biggest one right there, and, uh, but the whole valve covers kind of look like, I don't know if you can see behind there, but uh, I just cleaned them and then uh, took some light, light uh, abrasive to them, but So it's got like a, got 
a dent right there from something. And it's got those rusted places on the on the bottoms. So I mean they're not like worth putting a super high polish shine on. And then uh this uh the yard sale for a couple of dollars polished it but it's got pollen or dust all over it too but uh, it's got a den in it so nothing's got to be perfect but uh so I got that one from the yard sale and I need to clean that carburetor but uh, I'm just trying to get it together and then uh, do a little bit at a time but uh, came out here and started cleaning in there. And then I cleaned that pulley off. I don't know, the water pump should be good. So I started cleaning it and put a little oil on it. But I found that fan and my stash. And I just put some oil on that rust uh, to loosen it up and get it cleaned. And then uh, I just wiped some of this off up here but I need to get some cleaner that's like down to the metal there and I uh, get some cleaner and get down here and clean but uh, I had cleaned this front this front frame I had cleaned it before and started painting it before I put the engine in but you can just see the dust and the dirt but uh, this was like full of water and rust and grease but I cleaned all it off and I need to paint it but I just keep getting dirt down there and uh but yeah this thing uh the motor mounts uh the top motor mounts came I bought those new I think they're like 15 or 20 bucks at parts the parts house and then uh these motor mounts I got from the junkyard uh somebody started taking a motor out and one half was already unbolted and then we tried taking the other other motor mount off and we couldn't get the bolt off so they just came out there with the uh oh what's it called oh tow truck and they just pulled the motor out and then uh broke the bolt loose and all and we got the motor mount uh -huh. and yeah the the, the I guess these are called bushing mounts because they got the rubber in them but they were all tore up at the junkyard and there wasn't no sense in getting those after they uh, jacked the truck up yeah they ripped, ripped one of them I think is what happened but um yeah that's what I I'm just kind of thinking of stuff I had to do uh got this block this uh brake I think it's called a brake block. I'm not sure, but I had to get that at the junkyard. That was missing. Um, what else have I done? I mean, I hadn't done a whole lot to it. I mean, I got this carburetor for like $25, but it needs to be clean. But it did come off a running truck. Uh, came off of like a 79 C10. He said the truck was acting up, so he went and bought a new Holly, and he said it was still acting up, so he was like, it's not the carburetor. Then he ended up selling the truck, so uh, if the carburetor is any good, it's good, but it's just dirty as hell. Had to get these plugs, uh, these air, I guess they're air lines, cleaned out before I turn it on. I don't know what critters uh, build in dirt things and everything, but... They were all over the damn motor when I got it. But I'll have to chase those uh chase those holes out with the uh threader. Um I got that uh transmission stick there from the junkyard and it's not the correct one. And then uh the pull ring thing was like bent when I got it and then I tried to straighten it and it just snapped off. But it's not mounted. And then this dipstick's not the right one. Um, but I picked it up at the junkyard. But I custom, it broke off too, but I custom made uh, custom made this pull. This topper on there, custom made it. 
it's the right depth and all. I mean, I made sure. And, uh, you know, I pinned it in there and then cut, then the ring, the ring broke off, but I pinned it in there in the correct spot and then, uh, put that Bacardi's, uh, bad on there. When I first got it, when I first got it, but the dipstick, I don't know if I need a ring on there or some way of mounting it. But, uh, I did that. Um, yeah, I cleaned those spark plugs and put them back in. Um, just kind of, I cleaned these and painted them when I first put it back, the hood back on this one. This is the 70 C10. Painted this fender. Uh, it's got this one place in there. I'm just going to cut it out and uh, patch it back in with some uh, maybe a tag, old tag, or just some sheet metal pot riveted on there. I'm not worried about uh, actually been fitted or doesn't look like it's been repaired or anything. So I'll just pop rivet some sheet metal over the top of it. Red a, a tag over and then paint it. Um, yeah, this side's pretty rough. Later on, like that, because that battery box is the acid and water and corrosion. Um, I probably just uh, paint what I can and then. Uh, a lot of this is pretty thin. Um, but we'll probably save what we can just to have it in here. And then uh, probably weld some tabs on there here with some sheet metal or something if it needs be. The previous owner put that corner in, the front fender corner. Oh, it's not too awful. Uh, some of this is, I guess I uh, bent that up to save it. Um, and then it's got this big gap here. Um, got some weird shit going on, and then some little piece of metal there. I mean, I'm not too concerned with it. Um, I definitely need to probably vacuum it out though, just because I don't want dust and dirt and debris in there to uh, rust it back out. But, uh, it does got some dust and dirt in there, but it gets from all the wind we have and the mowing and weed eating and, and uh, the leaves and stuff falling off the tree, but that's that I use them for storage. <laughs> um, let me see what else can I tell you about this thing uh, I need to start cleaning on this brake booster and paint everything uh, it's a running driving truck so I'm sure it's not uh, terrible but he took this motor out and put it in his 57 Chevy and then took the motor out of 57 Chevy and put it in here and uh, I used all the stuff off of here that he needed for the 57 Chevy and then I got what was left between the truck and the motor and transmission they put out of 57 Chevy which were both driving uh, running driving vehicles but I put this new gas line on there. I had it ran behind a water pump, but everybody was saying not to do that. And then I got the gas, uh, gas uh, filter, glass filter. And everybody, a couple of guys that run, run performance cars was like, uh, this gas, this glass will break and uh, shit will catch on fire. So I need to take that off and just put one of those big old, uh, Big old filters on there from like lawnmower or something, a big old plastic one. Uh, but I just got it on there for now. But it does hit right here since I moved it, 
moved it out, but it'll be behind the water, the radiator line. Um, but uh, I got those headers out the other day, and I didn't really want to cut these pipe because I got long headers, and uh, I didn't really want to cut these pipe back to put the long headers on there, so I might run manifolds if they bolt to the manifold. What else can I tell you about this thing? Yeah, those hooks there don't go to this truck. I just have them. I picked these up at a yard sale. And I didn't, I just threw them, stuck them there for now because I don't really know what I'm going to do with those hooks. Um, yeah, I don't really know. I need to get over there and paint some of that rust. I mean, I want the patina, but I just don't want like like a big rusted pile of shit, but I want it like clean and smooth to the touch rust, you know. <laughs> but uh, I had to put this fender back on, but I ain't got it, I ain't got it bolted because it had the issue right there with the two layers of metal uh, separating, but I think I could tack, tack weld it back down. But I hadn't bolted it in. Uh, yeah, I think right on me. Only two bolts right there. Um, I don't know what else I could tell you. Just piddling. Um, just piddling. Alright, I'll check back with you later. Yeah, I don't know if I showed you a good before picture, but uh, I just been uh, taking that wire brush and knocking the dust and the dirt and the loose rust off. And then I put a little bit of uh, the three in one, um, but that way uh, I won't rust back. But I can come back and uh, keep working on it, uh, sanding it and wire brushing it and stuff. But I'm working on all these pieces, wire brushing them uh, back there on the frame, uh, behind the brake booster. Uh, the steering column, just wire, wire brush and everything. Oh, I'll take this fender back off and do the power steering. Uh, or the steering box, the gearbox. Um, the frame and the A-arms and stuff, wire brush them. Uh, everything that's like, it's just dirty and rusted, I'll just wire brush, wipe down. Uh, Thinking about uh, just re just really cleaning this and just leaving it oiled, and then um, maybe get this top top really clean, and then uh, ah, she's a tough one, you know. But uh, just get it really clean the best I can, and just spray like some clear spray some clear on it or something run it till it quits ain't he's buying a new one uh, i got a brand new one still in the box and they're rusted so uh, it's no use to change that out um but yeah i'm just cleaning it up getting the dust dirt road grime uh, some of the loose rust off so it won't be so sightly but it's not necessary sightly just cleaning it up and doing probably maintenance that hadn't been done and 20 years, but just oiling up every all the bolts and uh, oiling up this uh, steering. Uh, I don't know if it needs oil in between those collars or not. Uh, yeah, because I don't know how it steers really. Um, but just brushing down the sub box, uh, the brake booster. Just around, just uh, wire brushing it with so that brush and hitting it with a little oil. Off, I think uh, it's gonna be helpful. But uh, yeah, not too much today. Um, it's still getting dirty, but not too bad. Not too bad at all. But uh, I think I'm gonna head in. Uh, might be getting some rain and then uh, I gotta go back over to my neighbors. I just came from there a little while ago, but I'm gonna head back over there. 
and I'll catch you guys later. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe, like, and comment. And uh, I think that's all you can do for me. Unless you want to send me stuff. That'd be awesome. Alright, thanks guys. Bye.